Hello. Welcome to a discussion of financial literacy and some of the many decisions that you must consider as you begin your academic career. I am Professor Louise Nadler and today we are discussing why you need to understand the importance of finance and your university education. Your high school fees are covered by our taxes, but university tuition is not. There are many ways to calculate value, and as well as pure dollars, I'm asking you to consider what your time and commitment are worth. I am a lecturer in the English department, and several years ago, I discovered that many students arrive here with little understanding of the costs of education. Also, if you are an older or returning student, you have a knowledge of finance, but here decisions include the importance of buying textbooks early, the cost of loan interest and payback schedules, and opportunities to apply for grants or scholarships from organizations that will support your education so you and your families can borrow less. The objective of this PowerPoint is to understand the importance of all elements of finance with respect to your education. In other words, to obtain financial literacy. Understanding the importance of financial literacy is crucial to your future, and the word map reflects many elements of literacy. A community has lots of energy, as Peter Bruegel, the elders, painting shows. And as a member of our community, you have different kinds of responsibilities and need to exhibit responsible behavior. There are consequences when you skip class or don't have the books. And you need to understand that there's a link between preparedness and success. And it is important to feel a sense of belonging in a community. Knowledge of financial literacy will help you belong to our community. After viewing this video, you will understand that finance is involved in almost every decision you make as a student, in class participation and attendance, timely purchase of textbooks, and your careful budgeting of your money and time. Remember, there is no such thing as easy money, and you have an obligation to yourself and to anyone helping you attend college. This image by Bruegel of the Tower of Babel depicts the story of the origin of different languages. Over the next years, you are going to learn many different languages or literacies in the same way that you speak one language at home and another at work or on a team. We all speak in different ways in different situations. These are actually called literacies or discourses. The language of finance is an important and specific literacy. It is also a skill. Life is full of unanticipated twists and turns, and a total commitment to your education equals time as well as money. Study time, class time, play time, and work time. Have you planned out your week to make sure you can fulfill your obligations? There are extra expenses that college doesn't bill you for. Local transportation, clothing, personal items, and entertainment. The College Board reports that these can run up to $3,000. And unlike high school, your books are extra and can cost as much as $800 to $1,000. Remember, you have an obligation to yourself and an obligation to anyone helping you to attend school. Do you have a personal budget, a way to organize and categorize how you spend your money? If you don't, you should. Setting and sticking to a monthly budget can really help you manage the stress of a new life. Calculate your monthly income, your expenses, and always leave a little wiggle room for an emergency, a messy moment, or a treat. There is excellent budgeting advice at the slide. Copy and paste any address in this slideshow into your browser as they are not active links. Can you climb this mountain? You know you need to keep track of your money, but did you know that we must do this with our time as well? If you skip class, you are paying more than a dollar a minute. How often do you spend that much money on a whim? Do you realize that your instructors cannot possibly cover everything you need in class? Your independent work is essential. All instructors expect extra work outside of class to be reflected in your tests 
and in the work you submit as homework. Expect to spend six hours working outside of class for every three credit course. This is the minimum amount of time you should expect to spend because you must do whatever is necessary to accomplish your learning. Preparation is having the equipment with you that you need to get the job done. If you do not get those books, it will affect your entire semester because our work is scaffolded. It builds upon itself just like a house sits on a foundation. Your foundation is poured early in the semester and all subsequent work rests on that. So if you miss that early work, you may topple over later on and we don't want that to happen. Do you understand that arriving in class without that preparatory homework is both unfair to your classmates and to your professor? As in order to participate, you need to have thought about the subject and figure out what excites you or confuses you. Either way, arriving without your textbook means you are stuck on the ledge. If you are stuck, many instructors reserve copies of the textbook at the library, or you can reach out and share with a classmate. Many of you have borrowed money in order to attend school. I would like you to understand the cost of that money in dollars. Stop this slideshow and look closely to see how much you need to make with no other expenses in order to repay those loans. The figures on the last side are intimidating, but there are endless numbers of sources for grants and financial aid out there. A loan requires that you pay it back with interest, and a grant is an offer of financial assistance from an individual or organization that wants to support you and your education. But you need to hunt for them. Rarely do they hunt for you. Apply for grants from national organizations to your hometowns. Don't give up, as this is not impossible, like our Penrose staircase, but it will take perseverance. I had a student whose family situation changed and she located 40 different ways to pay her tuition, from $250 to $2,000. She financed her entire education and graduated with no student debt. Take a look at what you need to do and then consider the impact of the decisions you make as you divide up your time. On our home page, click on Student Life and then near the center of the page under Student Essentials, click on Financial Aid and then fill out the application. After you finish that, put grants into the school search engine. You can also apply for student employment. There are people out there willing to help. Explore the Financing Your Education page as it is filled with opportunities and possibilities. You will need to spend some time filling out grant applications, but the possibility of lowering the cost to your families are huge. It is worth your time. The image to the right is a thole, which means to endure without complaint or resistance. You can do this. Consider what a labyrinth is, how you may follow a path and then reverse to a different path to find your way. Please watch this TED Talk to think more on the subject of financial literacy and how important it is for each of us to take control of our destinies. Good luck.